CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 7 Chapter 8 Comparing Quantities Page 157 8.3 Percentage Another way of comparing quantities Anita's report Total 320 upon 400 Percentage 80 Rita's report Total 300 upon 360 Percentage 83.3 Anita said that she has done better as she got 320 marks whereas Rita got only 300 do you agree with her? Who do you think has done better? Mansi told them that they cannot decide who has done better by just comparing the total marks obtained because the maximum marks out of which they got the marks are not the same. She said, Why don't you see the Percentages given in your report cards. Anita's percentage was 80 and Rita's was 83.3. So, this shows Rita has done better. Do you agree? Percentages are numerators of fractions with denominator 100 and have been used in comparing results. Let us try to understand in detail about it. 8.3.1 Meaning of Percentage Percent is derived from Latin word percentum, meaning per hundred. Percent is represented by the symbol of percentage and means hundredths too, that is, 1% means 1 out of 100 or 100th. One it can be written as 1% is equal to 1 upon 100, which is equal to 0 0.01. Page 158 To understand this, let us consider the following example. Rina made a tabletop of 100 different colored tiles. She counted yellow, green, red and blue tiles separately and filled the table below. Can you help her complete the table? The columns of the table are Color Number of tiles Rate per 100 Fraction Written as, red as, yellow, 14, 14, 14 upon 100, 14%, 14 percent, 14 percent, green, 26, 26, 26 upon 100, 26 percent. 26% Red 35 35 Dash 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 Blue 25 Dash 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 Total 100 Try these. 1. Find the percentage of children of different heights for the following data. Height, number of children, in fraction, in percentage. 110 centimeters, 22. 120 centimeters, 25. 128 centimeters, 32. 
130 centimeters, 21. Total, 100. Fill in the column 3 and 4 with the correct values. 2. A shop has the following number of shoe pairs of different sizes. Size 2, 20. Size 3, 30. Size 4, 28. Size 5, 14. Size 6, 8. Write this information in tabular form as done earlier and find the percentage of each shoe size available in the shop. Percentages when total is not 100. In all these examples, the total number of items add up to 100. For example, Rena had 100 tiles in all. There were 100 children and 100 shoe pairs. How do we calculate percentage of an item if the total number of items do not add up to 100? In such cases, we need to convert the fraction to an equivalent fraction with denominator 100. Consider the following example. You have a necklace with 20 beads in two colors. Page 159. We have a table with different columns. Color, number of beads, fraction, Denominator 100 in percentage. Red. 8. 8 upon 20. 8 upon 20 into 100 upon 100, which is equal to 40 upon 100. 40%. Blue. 12. 12 upon 20. 12 upon 20 multiplied by 100 upon 100, which is equal to 60 upon 100, 60%. 60 Total, 20. Anwar found the percentage of red beads like this. Out of 20 beads, the number of red beads is 8. Hence, out of 100, the number of red beads is 8 upon 20 into 100, which is equal to 40 out of 100, which is equal to 40%. Asha does it like this. 8 upon 20 is equal to 8 multiplied by 5 upon 20 multiplied by 5 which is equal to 40 upon 100, which is equal to 40%. We see that these three methods can be used to find the percentage when the total does not add to give 100. In the method shown in the table, we multiply the fraction by 100 upon 100. This does not change the value of the fraction. Subsequently, only 100 remains in the denominator. Anwar has used the unitary method. Asha has multiplied by 5 upon 5 to get 100 in the denominator. You can use whichever method you find suitable. Maybe. You can make your own method too. The method used by Anwar can work for all ratios. Can the method used by Asha also work for all ratios? Anwar says Asha's method can be used only if you can find a natural number which on multiplication with the denominator 
gives hundred. Since denominator was twenty, she could multiply it by five to get hundred. If the denominator was six, she would not have been able to use this method. Do you agree? Try these. 1. A collection of ten chips with different colors is given. We have a table here with five different columns. Color, number, fraction, denominator hundred, in percentage. The color column has the three colors, green, blue, red. And then there is a row for the total. Fill the table and find the percentage of chips of each color. Page 160 2. Mala has a collection of bangles. She has 20 gold bangles and 10 silver bangles. What is the percentage of bangles of each type? Can you put it in the tabular form as done in the above example? Think, discuss and write. 1. Look at the examples below and in each of them discuss which is better for comparison. In the atmosphere, one gram of air contains 0.78 gram nitrogen, 0.21 gram oxygen, 0.01 gram other gas, or 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 1% other gas. 2. A shirt has 3 fifth cotton, 2 fifth polyester, or 60% cotton, 40% polyester. 8.3.2 Converting fractional numbers to percentage Fractional numbers can have different denominator. To compare fractional numbers, we need a common denominator and we have seen that it is more convenient to compare if our denominator is 100, that is, we are converting the fractions to percentages. Let us try converting different fractional numbers to percentages. Example 7. Write one third as percent. Solution. We have one third is equal to one upon three multiplied by 100 upon 100, which is equal to 1 upon 3 multiplied by 100 percent, which is equal to 100 divided by 3 percent, which is equal to 33 1 upon 3 percent. Example 8. Out of 25 children in a class, 15 are girls. What is the percentage of girls? Solution. Out of 25 children, there are 15 girls. Therefore, percentage of girls is equal to 15 upon 25 multiplied by 100, which is equal to 60. There are 60% 60 girls in the class. Example 9. Convert 5 upon 4 to percent. Solution. We have 5 upon 4 equal to 5 upon 4 into 100 percent, which is equal to 125 percent. Page 161. From these examples, we find that the percentages related to proper fractions are less than 100 whereas percentages related to improper fractions are more than 100. Think, discuss 
and write. 1. Can you eat 50% of a cake? Can you eat 100% of a cake? Can you eat 150% of a cake? 2. Can a price of an item go up by 50%? Can a price of an item go up by 100%? Can a price of an item go up by 150%? 8.3.3 Converting Decimals to Percent We have seen how fractions can be converted to persons. Let us now find how decimals can be converted to persons. Example 10 Convert the given decimals to persons. A. 0 0.75 B. 0 0.09 C. 0 0.2 Solution A. 0 0.75 is equal to 0 0.75 into 100 percent, which is equal to 75 upon 100 multiplied by 100%, which is equal to 75%. B. 0 0.09 is equal to 9 upon 100, which is equal to 9%. C. 0 0.2 is equal to 2 upon 10 multiplied by 100%, which is equal to 20%. Try these. 1. Convert the following to persons. A. 12 upon 16. B. 3.5. C. 49 upon 50. D. 2 upon 2. E. 0 0.05. 2. 1. Out of 32 students, 8 are absent. What percent of the students are absent? 2. There are 25 radios, 16 of them are out of order. What percent of radios are out of order? 3. A shop has 500 items, out of which 5 are defective. What percent are defective? 4. There are 120 voters. 90 of them voted yes. What percent voted yes? You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India